Welcome back everybody, or if you have not watched any of my videos before, welcome to the channel. I'm going to be opening up a 2020-2021 extended series of upper deck hockey hobby box here. Um, I'll turn it around. You guys can read that. Pause it if you have to. Pause right there if you need to. Go ahead and read that. Um, it says down here, may contain time-sensitive redemptions, but I have not pulled a redemption out of these yet. Any redemption cards I've ever pulled out were artifacts ones. I actually really do enjoy pulling out redemptions, and that's what I'm kind of hoping for today. I want to pull out some kind of redemption card, whether it's an auto redemption or a rookie redemption, anything like that. But we're just going to jump right into it here. Um, I'm going to start with here with pack one and work my way around. See if I can't pull out something something good or a redemption or an auto or a jersey or at least something. So here we go. Card number one. Pack number one. Taro, <coughs> Heros, Wayne Simmons, Maxime Comtois, Derek Forbert, Jacob Ingham, Young Guns. That's another Young Guns I don't have. That's pretty nice. Pack one, got a Young Gun. That's nice. Uh, Jordan Kiru, Dre Kagua, and Victor Hedman, All-Star. I don't really watch the Kings too much this year. I've been following most of the East Coast games. That's where I'm at here. I'm in Pennsylvania. Not a Flyers fan, not a Capitals fan, not a Penguins fan. Being from Pennsylvania, I am actually a New York Rangers fan. Die hard. And uh, I actually been trying. I actually pulled out a autograph Adam Fox a couple months ago out of an artifacts box, and it's his rookie, and I'm really excited. Anyway, back to these. Pack two, Josh Anderson. Andrew Shaw. Cam Talbot. Chris Greider, All-Star. Frederick Handemark. I have like three of them now. I've gone Dodonov, Ryan O'Reilly, and a Devon Taze. So that's not bad. Two packs so far. And got two different young guns. I am going to go to this pack. Get a pack three here. See if something else isn't in here. Like I said, I've never really pulled. I pulled out a uh, Kapasov. Young Gun out of these so far, but it wasn't his regular Young Gun, it was his uh, extended series one, and I'm just hoping that I can maybe pull out the original out of one of these. Ah, uh, Cal Foot Dazzler, Devon <coughs> Dubnik, Ryan McDonough, and Crystal Tang. That's a blue Dazzler. Last video, if you guys watched, I pulled out a I forget who it was, but there was a orange Dazzler in there. Pretty cool to see. I don't know. I can't remember the order of what's the rarest and all that. Um, it's not numbered, so I don't think it's too rare. But either way, it's a Dazzler. Pack four. Mata. Kyle Terris. Alexander Texier. There's a John Carlson Ultimate Victory. That one's not numbered. It's a regular one. Anthony Duclair. Nicholas Waugh. Roy. I don't know how you want to pronounce that. Uh, Mark Giordano. And a Craig Smith. Pack five. Just whipping through these things real quick. Um, I know my last couple videos of doing hobby boxes were very exaggerated and drug out. So I'm going to try to not do that. I'm to keep them like 15 minutes long. Oh, the ones have been like a half an hour, so I'm on a strict time schedule here. That looks Cogliano. <clears throat> Radke Gudis. Kyle Clutterbuck. Joey Dacord. Rookie class. Nils Hoglander. That's a silver scribble, if you see it down there on the logo there. Um, silver scribbles are not autograph cards. They're just built into the card there just a fake auto um they're still cool to have don't get me wrong they're definitely still cool to have but they are not considered autograph cards i've seen all people try to sell them as autograph cards they are not do not get sucked into buying them they're not autograph cards the mvp boxes will draw you in for that reason because they have the silver scribbles and people try to think that they are autographs and you pull a lot of them out with them, and they're not anything spectacular. There's a Mikey Anderson, Silver Scribble. 
I actually have his rookie auto card that I pulled out of a art or yeah, an artifacts box. No, that one was out of an allure box. So I have his actual rookie autograph, Red Rainbow Allure. If you guys are interested in seeing that, throw a comment on here and I will show you that card. But yes, those are not autograph cards. But they're still rookies and there's still a little scripture there. So it's cool to have. Uh, pack 7, I'm pretty sure this is. Georgiev, Mike Hoffman, Roman Yossi, Young Guns of Dylan Cousins. It's a UD exclusive. That's a number 9 of 100. That's a cool card to have. Uh, Jacob Slavin there, Jacob Markstrom, and Justin Schultz. But this one is really nice. That is a Dylan Cousins. That's a UD exclusive rookie Young Gun. If you see right there, that is numbered focus number I believe that's 69 69 of 100 that's a nice card I never pulled out a uh, an actual numbered young guns before out of these so that's I'm kind of excited about I'm hoping cousins blows up as I have a couple of his other young guns lying around too that would be worth something if he blows up now this one has a thick card in the middle it could be a jersey, it could be a just a regular insert card like the OV, like the Ovations ones. We will find out here in a couple seconds. Actually, there is not a thick card in there. It looks like there was. Ah, like Nordstrom, let's say Kopitar, Eric Cernak, Matt Martin. Oh, it's a Josh Norris. It's a Prospects. Matthew Benning, Josh Brown. And Scott Mayfield. Now, this is actually turning into a really nice box. Josh Norris, Pros and Prospects card, numbered 58. I believe that's an 8 there. Maybe 50, uh, 56. 56 of 1,000. This card's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I've never pulled out a numbered rookie out of either one of these. Out of these boxes before, now I just pulled out two. That card's really cool. I do like that a lot. Alright, moving on here. Eight number packs open really weird. I believe this is, oh, I don't even know, pack nine maybe? It's Anderson, Michael Averusa, Jack Stanika, Matthew Kachuk, All Star. There's a John Gibson's Oviation. There's a Jay Beagle. There's a C <coughs> Paquette and a Matt Nito. John Gibson's Oviation. Is that one numbered? No. It is not numbered. Fun fact, John Gibson, he was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I live about 40 miles away from there. I played travel hockey growing up. I've actually played against John Gibson playing up, growing up whenever I was younger, about 13, 14 years old. Dude was a stud of a goaltender. I think he shut out our AAA team every time we played against him. Now, I think we did put up a goal or two against him, but, I mean, he was just a phenomenal goalie growing up, and I didn't expect him to go to the NHL, but he's 100% deserving of a spot in the NHL, and he's a class act guy. Very, very class act goalie. Or player, to begin with. Anything. Just a class act human being. Oh, God, I bumped my camera. I'm having technical difficulties. I am sorry. Let's get you guys back on track here. There we go. Stalzy, Michael All-Star, Ben Hutton, Oli Uoev. It's a rookies, ultimate victory. Corey Perry, Phil Giuseppe, Kyle Clifford, and Ignani Smith. It's a nice, nice ultimate victory rookie. 
right there. Um, that one is current. That one is unfortunately not numbered. It's just a regular, which still is not bad. But either way, that's a nice card. All right, moving along. This pack is funky. The back of that was split really weird. I didn't like it. Curtis McClenny, TJ Oshi, David Posternock, Luke Kuhn, <clears throat> Reese Johnson, Blackhawks Young Guns. Another Young Guns card. I'm not mad about that at all. I like my Young Guns. They're what are worth money. So, Reese Johnson, Young Guns, nice card. Uh, I haven't really watched too much of the West Coast games, but I'm hoping that they're going to, or that uh, he's going to, Reese Johnson there is going to take off. I'm hoping all these Young Guns that I have take off, but we know the odds in that of the Young Gun cards that you own versus the Young Gun cards that are worth money because the player is actually really good. There's a, There's not great odds in there. All right, Eric Halla, Bobby Ryan, Mark Barwick, <clears throat> Mark Shifley, Glenn Godden. If you watch my last videos, I pulled one of him out as well. Uh, Max Domi, Jake Allen, and Nico Hisar. Young Guns are definitely... I definitely like getting Young Gun cards. I mean, right now, I mean, I think the cheapest one on eBay is like a $2, but... Young Guns are nice. It's all a toss-up. I mean, I know Kaprasov right now is very sought after. Uh, Lafreniere was for a little while, but he's not really anymore out of this year, and I don't know why. Oh, William Foudy. That's a Young Guns. That one is not. That's a... That's the upper deck. Hold on. I'll show you guys here in a second. Let's show you the rest of these. This one is actually the Upper Decks Extended Series Young Gun Edition card. Uh, I have one of these of Kaprizov, but these are the original Young Guns. You can see the difference. I mean, they're both technically Young Guns, but this is the style card that you want for money-wise compared to that. But they're still nice to have. Moving on. There's a lot. I've pulled a lot of rookies and young guns out of this out of this one so far. And I'm only halfway through this through this box. This is turning into be a very nice box. I'm glad I got this. I won this on eBay for like 40 bucks. Derek Brassard, VZ, Patrick Line, Elias Patterson. Ah. Markstrom, just a throwback card. I mean, they're nothing. They're just regular insert cards for Barzell, Grant, and a Tanev. Yeah, they, these cards look cool. They look like a throwback. Um, they're just a, t a regular insert card. There's nothing special about them. Uh, you will get a couple of those here and there numbered, like a UD exclusive numbered one. Unfortunately, that one was not numbered. Numbered cards are always better because they're exclusive, as they say. And it jumps the value of them up a little bit. Uh, Steven Nilsson, Seth Jones, TJ Brody, Carter Hart. It's the same style. It's just a different style of a card. Uh, they're not exactly worth more or anything. Dominic Kuhan, Super Sour, Stetcher, and Kaneki. Yeah, they're not... I mean, it's, you can get a numbered one of these, but they're just... They're just something different to look at. They break up from the monotony, the monotony of opening and looking at the same style of card. For insert cards, insert cards are usually not worth money unless it's an insert card of an autograph or maybe a jersey, depending on who it is and if it's a rookie card or whatever. But your typical insert cards like that are not worth much. Love Nick Ritchie. There's another one. It's a Carey Price. Same thing. It's not a uh, UD exclusive. It's not numbered. It's just a regular insert card. So that card will not be worth 
anything. Keep going on, going along here. Um, so I'm trying to keep these videos shorter. I'm already at 15 minutes. This is ridiculous. Opening up cards and trying to talk to nobody kind of sucks. Um, but I'm just trying to show you guys what I own and what I have and what I'm pulling out of boxes. Oh, Young Guns, Arthur Kaliev and Alexei Hepinemi. Extended Series Checklist. These are cool cards to have. Uh, I actually have an Adam Fox and Kapo Kako Young Guns Checklist. It's pretty cool. Now, if Kapo Kako would just blow up and be as good as Adam Fox is, that one might be, might be worth money. But there's the checklist of all the Young Guns you can get in the Extended Series boxes. Rolling right along. Still got four, six packs after this one. So I have seven packs left here. So this would be, oh, this is only pack 17 out of 24. Man, these things take forever to open, uh, especially when you're trying to show some people some stuff here. There's a Ryan Strom, Tyler Bertuzzi, Miko Etten, and Young Guns. I do not own that one yet. It's a new Young Guns for me, Brady Kachuk, Thomas <clears throat> Osik, Riddich, and Barclay Goudreau. But yes, I do not own this Young Guns yet. Miko Lettinen. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's having a good year, if he's even playing in the NHL, if he's down. I have no idea. But I have heard the name, which amounts for something. A couple of these young gun guys that I'm getting, I have never heard their names before, never saw them play, nothing, so I don't know much about them. I've been watching hockey, but I also have a full-time job, so I'm not watching a lot of hockey. I used to watch four or five games a night, but now I'm only, hey, Mitch Marner, ultimate victory. But now I'm only watching, special, like, <clears throat> certain days I'll watch, Ranger, I'll watch every Ranger game, but I won't really go and uh, watch a bunch of random games of teams that I don't particularly like to follow. Alright, five more packs here, so this would be pack number 20. Petrangelo, Braden Holpe, Eric Stahl. Shea Weber, Tower Mott, Kyle Peterson, and <clears throat> Zaborov. There was not an insert card in that pack. That was what I call a dead pack. There was not an insert, nothing like that at all. Just all the same stuff. So, hopefully, that doesn't mean the rest of the box is dead because I pulled all the good stuff out first. Pack 21, Bookstead, Connor Sheary, Braden Holpe, All-Star, Anze Kopitar, okay, sorry, Colin Hellenbach, Kevin Shattenkirk, Noah Dobson, and Brandon Suter. That was another dead pack. I'm thinking the rest of these packs are all dead. So I pulled out a lot of nice stuff. This is the nicest box I've ever opened of this extended series hobbies so and i've opened i think five or six of them now and i'm thinking the last <clears throat> this pack plus the last two are going to be dead there's a jonathan huberdo cody seeky you say verilami hey steven stamkos nicholas kubel kakanen and a mitch Warner. That's an SPX Finnet card. Oh god, I'm zoomed in way too far. It's an SPX Finnet card, kind of cool. Uh, this one is numbered 2,287 out of 2,999. So they made 3,000 of them. It doesn't sound like a lot, but 
It sounds like a lot, I mean, but at the same time, it's really not a lot to make 3,000 of the same card. Pretty cool card. Nice little, I mean, they're nice breakup insert cards. I don't think they're going to be worth much, anything, or and any day. I mean, maybe if it was a <clears throat> Young Guns, a Star Young Guns card, but with that just being a base, like I pulled out a Novechkin out of the last one, same thing. And it's not going to be worth anything. Maybe a dollar or two. Adam Lowry. Out of Pack 23. Nathan McKinnon All-Star. Matthew Joseph. Brendan Nato. There's a Thomas Thomas Harlev. Hollow GRFX card. Earl Soderbuck. <clears throat> Amistikov. And Owen Tippett. These are, like I said, these are just like the other ones. Um, they're just... Hollow GRFX, they're just a cool little breakup of the monotony of opening up the same style card. They're nothing crazy. I mean, you can if you get one of these of a Young Guns, it'll be worth something, but with that just being the way that it is, it won't be worth much at all, if anything. That's the gamble you risk with card collecting. Um, that's why I try to stick to hobby boxes. I will buy blaster boxes and tins. Just for the fact that they're cheaper and you still pull out young guns. It's the cheapest way to try to collect all your young guns. Burn. Here's a Brad Marchand. NHL 63 Hall OGR FX. That's the first and that's the first Hall OGR that I've seen. There's a Dry Cycle McDavid checklist card, extended series. No need a rider. Yeah, that is the first NHL 63 Hollow GR FX card I have pulled out. This is my fifth, maybe sixth, maybe seventh of these boxes. But yeah, I never pulled one of these out before. It's not numbered. It's just a NHL six or just an NHL. <clears throat> yeah, well, I guess it would be the NHL Hollow GR FX card. Um, the 63 is obviously Brad Marchand's number. Now, that card is kind of cool. If you're a Brad Marchand fan and you want it, put it in the comments. I'll send it to you for free. All right, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, that was a 2020-2021 Extended Series Hockey. I will be having more of these soon, hopefully, and I hope everybody enjoyed the video. That was a pretty decent box. That was a nice pullout. Like I said, I've never pulled out a numbered rookie before as I just pulled out a pros and prospects, Josh Norris, number two, 1,000, and a Dylan Cousins, number two, 100, uh, UD exclusive young gun. So with those being said, those are the first two that I've pulled out, and that was a nice box. Now hopefully I can get some more like that, but I appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.